Hey guys, Real Touch GML here, and um, today we will be going over smarter enemies. Um, not the brightest, but they're a little better than just moving in a square or moving back and forth. If you saw my last tutorials, um, this enemy will be going ahead and following you, um, walking around and things so go ahead and create a new object obj enemy 3 or whatever you want to call it and or off bat in the create event we are going to set alert to equal zero okay now we just set a variable and this variable is going to come into play if you get close enough to him he will start chasing you um, if you move far farther away he's gonna stop chasing you so also in the move tab we're going to go to the move free and in direction random 360 um, at a speed of whatever you want I'll just say 2 this is going to start him off by moving in a random direction so in the step event, we're going to test chance to whatever you want. Copy this, paste it down. So test chance is, um, it's kind of like rolling a dice with a chance of one out of 20. So basically it's rolling this imaginary dice and there's 20 sides on it and if it rolls the side like you know one of the sides that you set for this it's going to perform this action but it it rolls it like every millisecond so every millisecond it's testing this and if it gets it um it will perform this um so the more sides you have the less likely it's going to happen I hope that makes sense. So in the collision event with the wall, just do the same thing. We're also going to do this though. Um, I forgot in the step event, we need to test variable. If alert is equal to zero, it's going to do this. Because if he's chasing you, we don't want him spewing off in different directions. Um, because that wouldn't be very smart. Um, same with this. Okay, so now if we go ahead and put him in our room here, put him right there. You can see he's walking around freely. Oops, I accidentally hit the enemy, sorry guys. So yeah, he's basically just walking around. And if you don't want him to turn as much, and you don't want him to, uh, like, basically turn like that much, just go ahead and set the number higher for the test chance. So if we set this to, like, 50, he won't turn as much. So, now that we've done that, um, we're going to put in some code in this step event. And this code will be in the description. Um, so here we go. If alert equals 0, or no, I'm sorry, equals 1, I'm going to set these brackets, um, MP potential step parentheses obj player dot x whoops obj player dot y at a speed of two and zero which means it ch it um uh, checks solid objects or i'm sorry it checks all objects so, if it's not, 
if it's not if alert does not equal one we're going to set this code if if distance to object obj player is greater is less than say 50 we're going to set alert to equal 1 so if you're 50 pixels from uh the enemy alert is going to equal 1 and if alert equals 1 mp potential step mp potential step means that um he's going to find the shortest path um to get to you which to get to you which we set obj player dot x and obj player dot y at a speed of two and he's going to avoid solid objects but now he's not going to stop chasing you so what we need to do is we're going to do if again distance to object obj player is now greater than we'll say 75 alert equals zero so if you get out of 75 pixels from him he's going to stop chasing you basically and this code will be in the description so let's go ahead and test it out <clears throat> so you can see he's walking around he's doing his thing but if we get close to him oh he starts chasing us if we get away from him he's going to stop chasing us so if we get close to him he starts chasing us we evade him Whoops, I hit an enemy, sorry guys. So if we get close to him, and he loses vision. So yeah guys, that's my tutorial for today. A little longer than the other tutorials, but um, I hope you get better in this type of stuff with AI. I hope it helped. Um, comment, like, subscribe if you'd like. And um, yeah, next tutorial, I'm not sure what we're doing yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. So, see you later.